Okay, so, after a lot of fucking around and a lot of science, I finally figured out the problem, I think, question marks. Uh, first, let me just open up Godot. I'm just going to delete everything that's in here related to the character. Okay, so this is basically a fresh Godot project. I've made a bunch of fresh Godot projects just to try and figure this out to make sure I'm I've got all my bases covered, but I think I finally figured out the problem. So this is a character um, with a rig. All of the animations for this rig are baked. So th there's no fancy controls or anything. It's just all the only data that's here is the keyframes. Um, so I'm going to go with this default animation here, and I'm going to push this into the analyze dash. The default animation is just two frames in this pose. Um, then I'm going to add like this animation here, Descent, um, I'm going to push that down, and I will leave this default animation on the top of the NLA strip, or of the uh, NLA tracks. It needs to be the very top one. Now I'm going to select both of these, I'm going to export them as GLB files, I'm going to delete everything that's in here. Um, and I'm just going to call this default top. And I'm making sure my preset is selected. The only thing I do here is selected objects only. It doesn't matter in this scene because there's only two objects anyway, but I'm going to export that. So we have a file called default top. And in this file, there are two animations. There's the animation default, and then there's the animation descent loop. Okay. So now, what if I want to add another animation to this list? So I'm going to get this animation here. Oh, I am on the mesh and not the skeleton. So I'm going to select the skeleton, then get this guard break animation. Then I'm going to push this down. Now, you see how it's on the top? Let's leave it like that. And let's name this file guard break on top. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and move this down one. Then I'm going to select this, export, GLTF. Um, what do I call this one? I'm going to call this one guard break on bottom. It's not really on the bottom, but that doesn't matter. It's just so that I know what these files are. Okay, now I'm going to open Godot again. I'm going to get these two files. Let's open inherited copies. Go to the animation players. Okay, so in Godot, it's listed this way, right? So like, what am I on? Uh, guard break on top. Even though I have the object guard break on top selected, if I click this, default shows at the top of the list. Even though when I exported it, guard break was on the top of the list. If I'm on this one where guard break is on bottom, it's um, it's in the same order, right? Also, just to show you, the animations are working fine in these exports. For, for both of these objects. So I'm going to go to this. This is, let's, this default top object, let's say that this is the object that I want all of the animations to be on. I don't want my animations to be split between three different objects, they all have to be on the same one. So I want this guard break animation to be on this default top object. So I've got the guard break animation selected. This is the one from guard break on bottom. I'm going to copy it, I'm going to go to the target, I'm going to paste it, and voila, look, it works, wow. Now, let's see what happens if I go to this one, guard break on top. So I have the guard break animation selected, I'm going to copy it, I'm going to go to default top, and I'm going to paste it. What's this? Guard break 2, why does it look like that? That's not what the animation's supposed to look like, it's supposed to look like this. So as you can see, the order that the uh, actions strips in the NLA editor are in is important. 
if they're in the wrong order, the animations break. So the only thing that matters is that the top animation in the uh, NLA editor is the same. So if you want to add new animations, like let's say let's say I delete all of these and I go to something like uh, this idle animation here. Once again, I did the wrong thing. I have to deselect this, select the skeleton, do idle loop, and then we'll push this down. And this is where the problem is, and this is why I keep like losing my mind over it. When you push an animation down, it pushes it to the top of the strip, but default always has to be on top. So I have to put this to bottom. Now default is back on top. Um, this is also another experiment to see if having different sets of animations changes anything. So I'll export this. Got the same preset. I'm going to call this one idle. Exports idle. Let's open that. Go to the animation player. The animation is working. Going to copy that. Now I'm going to paste it here. So that works fine too. So yeah, that's that's the only problem. It's not some plugin. It's not um anything to do with the controls. The only thing that's causing this problem is the fact that default was not on top. 